Let's face it, aquariums for a lot of us were more work than we expected. Setting them up, keeping them clean, and most of all, water changes. Emptying your tank into a bucket, dumping it out, filling it back up, lifting the big heavy buckets to pour back in the tank is a lot of work. And who has time for it? Ain't nobody got time for that. And a five gallon bucket of water weighs almost 50 pounds. So unless you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you're gonna be exhausted afterwards. Especially if you have a larger tank or multiple tanks. That's why a while back I made a video called This $5 Water Change Hack Will Save Your Life. And I told everybody, you don't have to get an expensive, complicated water system. You can just get one of these. I had no idea how much that would resonate with you guys. Everybody wants an easier way to do water changes. So I thought, why don't I talk about it again and see if I can improve upon it or maybe make it for cheaper. So I tried to go to the hardware store to see if I could get the plumbing parts and put it together that way instead of buying the actual Python piece. And turns out materials are terrible right now. So we didn't do that. But we are gonna talk about how to put together your own water change system and how I'm going to improve the one we made in that old video. Now making my own water change system out of things I could put together uh, has worked really well for me. It's been a lifesaver. I just got this little piece here and I hooked it up to a garden hose in the last video and it was fine, it changed my water. But turns out hoses would rather spray the water out and maybe not so much suck the water back down. So when it was sucking, it was kind of getting kinked up. and It was slowing down my water changes and I wouldn't get as much flow. So while I was at the hardware store, I picked up some clear vinyl tubing instead. So what we're gonna do instead of using the garden hose that connects to this end of the Python piece, is I'm gonna get a little adapter and I'm gonna link you guys to all the pieces in the description below. And this one's pretty simple. You just slide on the one part, put the tube, on the nozzle and then tighten it down so it doesn't pop out. Now this Python piece does require a hose adapter to your sink so if you don't have a utility sink where you can screw a hose on you'll have to get one of these and they're like two bucks which isn't too bad. Screw our hose on. Now the moment a lot of you've been waiting for is how does it work? So basically this valve piece has a part that goes out to your hose and this twists down so water can drain out of it. So if I'm filling a tank up, I close it. If I'm siphoning water out, I open it up. And when it's open, it goes like that. And one of the things I like to do to start my siphon is to actually turn the water on while the valve is closed so I can get all the air out of the line. And then once I get all the air out of the line, I open up the drain. And there it goes. Now a lot of people told me that's so wasteful, you're gonna waste so much water. But once the siphon is started and the water's flowing, you can turn it off. So contrary to the comments section, we don't really have to waste much water. So I've been sitting in front of this African cichlid tank because I have to do my water changes on this one weekly, for sure, with the stocking that I have in it. So let's change some water and see how easy it is. Now I can turn the water off. Alright, one tank down and only like 19 to go. But definitely glad I have a way to do it that's not lugging buckets around or however else people are doing water changes these days. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content because we've always got something going on in the fish room. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.